Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and in my last video, uh, it was me and my partner Sam reacting to uh, some of my childhood photos. Doing that video made me realize that you guys don't know too much uh, personally about me. Yes, you know about my transition, and yes, that's a personal aspect within my life, but you don't know too much personally about, well, me and my personality. I mean, yes, my personality shows through in some of my videos, but you know what I mean. So in that video, I asked you guys to um, write assumptions that you have about me, and today I am going to respond to them. So I am taking assumptions from Instagram and also from the YouTube comments. Uh, most of you guys mainly answered on Instagram, though, um, because you wanted to stay kind of anonymous and everything. So yeah, let's just get started. You're funny. I hope so. I mean, when I was a kid, I was always just saying things just trying to make people laugh and feel good and stuff. My mom actually told me to become a comedian. But the thing is, I realized that when I try to be funny, I'm not actually funny. I'm just naturally funny when I don't think about it that I'm funny. So it's like me being a comedian wouldn't really work out because I would just overthink it. And then I just wouldn't be funny at all. I would just be that goon on the stage being like, uh. <laughs> you want loads of tattoos. Fucking yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna be covered in tattoos. I really have a journal where I wrote down like all my tattoos and like the designs and stuff. I wish I could draw. Like I'm not artistic at all in any sense. Like I have a great imagination, so I guess you could say that's artistic. But I mean in like the physical sense of being artistic, I am not. My siblings are, but I just, no. <laughs> So, but like, I just have a journal where like I wrote down all my tattoo ideas, where I'm gonna get them placed and stuff, and I literally am gonna be like kind of covered, but not like circus clown freak covered, but like very like organized, detailed, realistic tattoos. I just don't have any tattoos yet because as you guys know, I am saving for top surgery and stuff. But yes, I am definitely gonna be having loads of tattoos and it's gonna be freaking amazing. You're actually a sensitive person, but prefer to hide your vulnerabilities. I guess, I mean, I'm a Cancer and Cancers are like known to be insensitive creatures and stuff. Um, I don't know how to answer this one. I guess it's true, but I feel like I don't really hide too much. Like I don't consider myself very vulnerable though. I'm not too sensitive. Like, if you say something and stuff, I won't get too sensitive by it. Like, I'll argue back with you and give you facts. Like, don't come at me with your opinions. I can understand that everyone has their own opinions, but when you're, like, having debates about real issues, come at me with facts, not your opinions, because then we're just gonna go back and forth forever, and, like, you're never gonna solve anything, you know? You're sweet. Aw, oh, thank you. I would hope so I'm sweet. I would like to give up that vibe. You prefer to deal things on your own than talk about things due to your insecurities slash uncertainties. Does everyone think I'm sensitive? Yes, I've always liked to deal with things on my own because I was always taught that if you want something done, you have to do it for yourself. No, nothing's gonna be handed to you in life. You're always gonna have to work towards your goals. And it's just, I'd rather deal with things on my own just because like I was raised that way, but also it's like, it's just easier sometimes when you like talk about things with other people. There's too many voices, too many alternating um, d opinions on what you're thriving to do in life, and it can just bring you down. There's uncertainties with everything in life, so I don't think that this is necessarily like a negative thing. I feel like everyone's kind of this way. It's just with different aspects within their life. You want a third, if you know what I mean. You could read this two different ways. I'm not polyamorous. I'm very monogamous. Uh, my joke answer to that is because it is way too expensive to be polyamorous. Because, like, think about it. It's another person to buy gifts, another birthday, another anniversary thing you gotta celebrate. More dates, more things. Like, I don't have the money for that shit. But my real, true, like, answer is because, like, I like to... When you're in a relationship, you keep on building that connection and you become closer and closer with that individual. And I'd rather just build a connection with just one person because then it's more of a stronger, truer, like, more of a connection. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it works for some people being polyamorous. I'm just not wired that way. But I'm always down for threesomes, if that's what you meant by this. Uh, me personally, yes, I'm always down for threesomes. I'm a bisexual switch, too, so, like, threesomes are freaking amazing to me. Uh, my partner, not so much, but it's like, I only suggest doing threesomes when you have a relationship, if you are very secured in your relationship and you trust each other. Make sure you have that conversation of like your certain rules and stuff like that when you do get involved in that scenario and stuff. You fart a lot. 
Oh wait, mm, let's see who wrote this one. Sam. <laughs> Just calling me out. I don't fart too much. I'm a guy, what do you expect? I don't know. You wish you could meet your fans in person. I don't consider myself having fans though. I mean, yes, I would love to meet some of you guys and everything. You guys are really sweet, you're really nice and stuff. I just don't consider you guys fans. It's weird for me to say that because, like, I'm just a starty YouTuber and stuff like that. I don't even consider myself, like, a real YouTuber. Like, yes, I, like, make videos and I kind of have a constant schedule. I try to post once a week, but sometimes that falls through. But then again, that's very YouTuber-like to fall through with your schedule. But yeah, I only have, right now, as I'm filming this today, I only have 450 subscribers, so... I guess you're not really coined as a YouTuber slash having fans until like what you have like a thousand or so but even then that's really small it's just like yeah but yeah I would still love to meet you guys especially like you know if my partner Sam who is Queen Halo yes they have fans they have like what 40,000 subscribers or something like that if they were to do a meet and greet, I would come along with them, meet you guys and stuff, especially since I've been in some of their videos, so like, most of you guys will actually know me, I'm just not some random person standing next to Sam and stuff, and you're like, who the fuck is this chump? You want face piercings. Yes. For the longest time, I wanted um, a lip ring or snake bites. Snake bites are really cool when you have both of them. But the thing is, is I don't have a dentist and I heard a lot of stories from friends and stuff that used to have um, lip piercings is that like it fucks up with your teeth sometimes. But like I noticed that like I bite my lips a lot and like if I just had a piercing, it would be more of like, like I would just bite it more and that, that piercing would just get infected more. Yes, your mouth is like the fastest healing part of your body, but still like I would probably get infections a lot, and like that would be gross, especially since it's your mouth and you could probably like taste the pus. Ew, wait, ew, don't think about that. But also, I do want an eyebrow piercing. I wanted an eyebrow piercing for like the longest time. I remember me and my siblings, we were all gonna get piercings. My two sisters, they were getting their belly button pierced, and also I think Magnolia also got her industrial that day, I think. I forget. Like, I did go with them, but I had a headache that day, and like I read a bunch of articles saying that like you shouldn't get your any face tent. A face tattoo. No, ew, no, no, I'm not getting any face tattoos. But, um, you shouldn't get any facial piercings, especially eyebrow, if you have a headache and stuff like that, because, like, your nerves are irritated and you have, like, more of a potential chance of getting, like, um, your face could be paralyzed. I, I don't know. I read, like, so many bad articles. I still want it, though. Like, I know it's safe. Like, I'm not gonna get paralyzed from it and stuff. But it's like, that scared me, so I didn't get it done. Honestly, I would have been probably fine to still get it done that day, but it's just, like, yeah, I was just nervous, I guess. I know some tattoo and uh, piercing parlors are starting to open up, but I'm gonna wait a little bit before. Also, they're probably like booked for like the next couple months anyways. But I do have to go see one because this gauge is not coming out, this piercing. So like, it's a screw one and like, it's just stuck. Like, yes, I can turn it in my ear. Like, it's not actually stuck to my skin. It's just the piercing itself. It's like off the track a little bit. I just have to go in, make an appointment and have them unscrew it. They gotta do it like with pliers and shit. I tried doing it myself but it wasn't working and I don't really trust anyone around me to do it because this gauge is actually lower than this one just because the chick that fucking pierced my ears back when I was like, what, eight or so? It's fucked it up and the hole was just a little bit lower. That's fun, I gotta do that soon though. You are a weeb. So this is like an anime term, right? I don't know all the anime terms, but yes, I love anime so much. I do not wish I was like in the Japan culture though I know like isn't that like what weebs are they like actually like really wish that they were like just surrounded by Japanese culture I really do like anime though um I haven't watched anime in a long time honestly but then again like I'm so busy between like my two jobs and then trying to film for YouTube uh, my favorite animes are Tokyo Ghoul and Naruto honestly I still haven't watched the Death Note it's on my list it's like I just haven't had time to but like I've been told to watch Death Note if you guys have any other anime suggestions, please comment down below, because I just need to watch more animes, honestly. <laughs> you can sing. Um, yes, I actually was in chorus throughout high school and stuff. Um, I'm mainly like a tenor range, but like the, the thing is, is like my voice is always changing, so I'm still trying to find my range and stuff, and it still does crack a little bit when I sing, obviously. But yeah, it was funny, on Father's Day I went to my parents' house, and like we were just all hanging out. You know, we have music on in the background, listening to country music because I grew up on country and Grateful Dead. My preferred music is like emo slash alternative rock, I guess you would say. Um, but I still listen to some country and stuff just because like that's what I was raised on and shit. 
But yeah, we were just listening to some country music, and like I was just singing along to one of the songs, and my sister Ava J, who actually has a YouTube channel where she sings and stuff, she's like, oh my god, you can sing? I was like, yeah, and she's like, no, I mean, but like, you can sing good, like you're good. I was like, I was like, thank you, but also kind of insulted that you thought my voice was bad. Like, fuck, what? Like, thanks? Like, that's rude. <laughs> but yes, I can sing. I'm still trying to find my range though. Like, after a few years and stuff, my voice will stop dropping as much. Like, it won't be like that noticeable. Once it's down to that point, then I will actually like start training my voice again and start singing more because I actually do like to sing and stuff. I don't think I have a terrible voice. My, my sister AJ is apparently surprised by my voice. Who knows if there's gonna be a singing video in the future. Don't quote me on that. Please don't quote me on that because watch my voice like stops like dropping and my voice is shit. That would be my luck, wouldn't it? Um, you are the only LGBTQ um, individual in your family. False. Actually, two of my siblings are within the community as well. I will not disclose their names or what they identify as sexually or gender-wise because like, I do not want to out them in any sense if they don't want to be out on the internet. Because that's the thing, like, I'm out on the internet. Like, yes, my siblings are out to the public and stuff, but they're not... I don't want to, like, say it on the internet because it's more um, global range and stuff like that, and it's just... I don't want to out anybody, so that's the thing. I am the only trans one that I know of, because like, who knows within my family if someone else is trans, if they're just not out yet, and I don't want to offend anybody. You are the type of person who overthinks things again and again before making a final decision. Yes and no. So the thing is, is like, I overthink a lot of things, honestly. Yes, um, I like to be well informed, I guess you can say before I make a final decision. I think that's like the most beneficial way to make a good decision in life is to just do your research and stuff. I did tons and loads of research about testosterone before I even actually went on it. Of course, like I was interested by it. I was interested by people who transitioned and everything like that. And it's just like, I did all this research and stuff of like what I would actually get myself into. I looked at the of the positive and the negative side of things. I wasn't just watching good transition stories. I also watched detransition stories too. And I like just evaluated everything. I went to therapy. So that I guess in the long run, I overthink things, but I don't think that's overthinking. I think that was just being very safe and making sure I was actually who I am today uh, to make sure that medically transitioning was right for me. Um, in other scenarios like basic life, uh, I would like to say I'm a free going person. I like to just go with the flow of things sometimes and stuff, but with just certain regards, yes, I overthink it because I want to make sure I am making the smartest, beneficial, reliable, whatever decision. All right, so that was the last one. Hopefully you guys got to learn a little bit more about me. Thank you for all the assumptions for everybody that I wrote in. They were great. Uh, you guys kind of know me a little bit, and like I'm surprised that a lot of people said like I was sensitive. But then again, everyone, I guess, has their own insecurities, and I think those are just basic responses to the insecurities and stuff is to hide things, suppress them a little bit, and just deal with them on your own. I feel like that's very human of us to do. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Definitely ring that bell down below so you can get notifications whenever I upload a video. I make videos whenever I can, but you can always expect important updates on my transition. Alright, see you guys.